Thanks for watching and here are my three favorite ways of calculating this identity. Starting with complex numbers. Because if you consider 1 plus i times 1 plus 2i times 1 plus 3i and you expand this out, it turns out you get the number minus 10. Are you for real? Yes, it is real. Now, to destroy this identity, let's use arg argument. So argument of this is the argument of that, or as in German they say, for arg a. Now, arguments, they behave like logs. So this is arg of 1 plus i plus arg of 1 plus 2i plus arg of 1 plus 3i. Now the argument of minus 10, it's the angle minus 10 makes with the positive x-axis. So in this case it's pi. And for the rest, we just want to write this in terms of arctangent. So 1 plus i, think of going 1 to the right and 1 up. And the angle this number makes with the positive real axis is this one. But if you think about this, this is precisely arctangent of 1 over 1, which is arctangent of 1. And yeah, it is pi over 4, but we don't even need that. Now, 1 plus 2i, same thing, but rise is 2, run is 1. So this angle here now is arctangent of 2. And finally, we have 1 and 3. And then we get arctangent of 3. And well, as I mentioned, if you add all of them up, you do get pi. Wow, how cool is that? And not only this, you can even generalize this. You, I mean, you can use the same proof to prove a more general result, which I just want to state here. Namely, if you happen to have that A plus B plus C equals ABC, then it is still true that arctangent of A plus arctangent of B plus arctangent of c is pi. And it's the same thing if you just consider the expression 1 plus ai times 1 plus bi times 1 plus ci. If this holds, then we get a real expression. You take arguments. On the right-hand side is pi. On the left-hand side is the sum of arctangents. How cool is that? That's right, you got to show complex numbers some respect. The second proof is more geometric and has to do with the following grid. So 2 pi 3 grid. And let's draw the following triangle. Whoosh, whoosh, and whoosh. Okay. You just do whoosh. Now, what is this angle? Well, here the rise is 2 and the run is 1. So again, 2 and 1. So this is arctangent of 2. What is this angle here? Well, once more, the rise is 3. The run is 1. So this is arctangent of 3. And finally, I believe here, this should be a right triangle. And moreover, if you calculate, both two things, while well, we do have the same length, so it's really the arctangent of this over this, which is arctangent of 1. And the cool thing is, if you sum all of them up, on the one hand you get arctangent of 3 plus arctangent of 1 plus arctangent of 2, but on the other hand, well, they all add up to 180 degrees, so you still get pi in the end which is, again, quite nice, because you can just visualize this. Last but not least is also a geometric proof of the same nature. Now, this last one is more geometric, but I also think it's the most intuitive. 
it's the one someone would probably come up with if they had to solve this problem because arctangent of one should remind you of this triangle one one squared of two so how about we start at zero zero go one to the right and then one up then indeed this side is one this side is one so this angle is arctangent of one and now let's think how would you make arctangent of three appear well, we have side length 1, so extend this to have side length 3. In other words, just go down to 1, comma, minus 3. Then yes, I mean, all those are right triangles, and we do have 3 and 1, so this angle is arctangent of 3. And let's do something quite fun. Let's start with 1 minus 3, and just extend this line going through the origin until you reach minus one comma three and then I apologize for my horrible drawing but you should get that we have this right triangle and so all that's left to do is calculate the tangent of this angle but now look this side, as we mentioned, has length squared of 2. This side, using the Pythagorean theorem, it's square root of 2 squared plus minus 2 squared, so square root of 8, which is 2 squared of 2. And well, what is the tangent? This divided by this, which is 2. So in fact, this angle is arctangent of 2. And then once more, magic, because what is this angle? Well, it's the sum of the arctangents. But now remember, those angles, they all lie on the same line. Namely, I believe y equals minus 3x. And that is by construction. We said we're just extending this line. So in fact, they're collinear and they form an angle of 180 degrees. So once again, this angle is pi. Now question for you, which method did you like most and can you come up with a different method? Let me know down in the comments. Alright, if you like this and want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.